Hi, I'm Sam Custer. I'm the Ag and Natural Resource Educator for Dark County. My specialty areas are farm management and agronomy. We've been sitting on soybean yields here in Dark County at about 50 bushel the acre, and, and we just can't bump off of those. Our corn yields have trended up for years, but soybeans kind of are sitting in there kind of stagnant. So Sean Castile over at Purdue has been doing some research the last three or four years with sulfur. And what he's found is he can get the biggest boost out of uh, sulfur of everything he's trying, uh, maybe averaging right around 10 bushels per acre with those sulfur trials. So if we can bump our yields by 10 bushel the acre, that's gonna make a huge difference for our farmers. So I'm Aaron Overholster and I'm a grain farmer from Dark County, Ohio. Our farm is between Bradford and Versailles and we grow corn and soybeans. Yeah, so this year uh, we're doing a sulfur plot where we're applying sulfur on our growing soybeans and we're doing that using our sprayer and we're applying uh, ammonia sulfate, sprayable ammonia sulfate and we're doing that at uh, growth stage R1, R2. Uh, so we've got three treatments. We're doing a, a no uh, application whatsoever. We're doing a single application this week and then we'll come back in two weeks and come back with a second uh, application of this ammonium sulfate. We are using uh, 15 pounds of product um, per treatment of uh, the ammonium sulfate. There's 24% sulfur um, by weight in that, so we're about four pounds per acre is what we're shooting for. In this study, we had three replications of treatments of three different types. One with a sulfur application at R1, one with a sulfur application at R1 and R3, and one with no sulfur application. We experienced a drought uh, through the end of the growing season. With those drought type conditions, we experienced low yields in this part of the county. So our non-treatment uh, soybeans yielded 43.43 bushels per acre. Our sulfur treatments, the single sulfur application, our yield was 41.87. In our two sulfur applications, a yield of 42.93. And we had no significant yield difference. When we looked at the total economics on the 2019 results, as you can see, a total cost of $11.90 per treatment you can see that economically no sulfur was the highest return on investment. All we will need to cover our cost for the sulfur applications will be about a bushel and a half. So we will look at that in the future, hope that 2020 will bring us a normal growing season. Interested in learning more about this study and others? Be sure to check out the OSU Digital Ag website listed on the screen for your copy of the 2019 eFields Guide.